what I'm trying to do with modelling is promote diversity and promote disabled models and plus size models. Katie Knowles is not your typical model, but that's exactly her point. I honestly don't know why there is this prejudice. I think, to be fair, it's not even about the modelling industry. There's just a stigma and an attitude in general, and it just transfers over to the modelling industry. I have done lots of different shoots. I've done shoots with animals, shoots with children, promotional things. I've done personal shoots that are a little bit more crazy. I didn't recognise my own daughter, which is quite impressive. She's beautiful. She has a beautiful personality which comes through when she does model. And without being disabled, she can show young women and young men that something can be achieved in an industry that isn't necessarily synonymous with disabled people. The 25-year-old law graduate has been working with the charity Models of Diversity, which aims to promote greater equality in the fashion industry. And it's kind of opened my eyes to the issues that a disabled model face. One in six of us are disabled and we're not represented in the fashion industry and so we've got a active government petition currently which you can see on the Models of Diversity website and it's basically we're trying to get the government to put pressure on the fashion industry to use disabled models. So the extra challenges we face as a disabled model are predominantly liability and insurance issues. I mean, I've lost out on catwalks because they were concerned about the width of the catwalk. Katie's changed my opinion on disability in quite a few ways. I always thought that disability was quite a huge issue and that it's not really talked about or represented in any way. But now I think I understand the importance of getting like that conversation and that dialogue out there. Some of the positive comments I've had have been absolutely fantastic. I've had people from all over the world uh, contact me and saying how I've influenced them or made them feel that they could do something and that for all the stress that sometimes modelling causes me is totally worth it. When she was younger, Katie was always very active, enjoying ballet, horse riding and playing badminton. By age 15, she was diagnosed with a number of crippling back conditions. I had a lot of pain down the back of my right leg, predominantly. It was like pins and needles, tingling, dead leg. My leg kept giving way, so I would fall over all the time. I got diagnosed with disc degenerative disease, spinal stenosis, prolapsed discs, hypermobility, sciatica, which I kind of throw all together, call it a bit of a granny disease because it shouldn't have happened at my age, basically, and there was no reason for it. It was a complete shock, really, because you always assume that your kids are going to be fine. And very quickly it became apparent that there were problems and it wasn't getting sorted. I mean, some days she literally couldn't walk. I use crutches every single day. On a good day, I can get away with one crutch, or should I say glam stick. On a not so good day, it's two. And on a really bad day, that's when I hit, go for the wheelchair. The way I stay active is horse riding. That for me is even just something as simple as grooming the horse, which may be a simple task for yourself, takes a lot out of me. So I can't do maybe exercise in the traditional way, but th there's ways that I'm learning to adapt it. On a down day, I feel that it's not that fair. Why has this happened? You know, how come I was the one that it happened to? I could quite happily mope about, but that's kind of not how I roll, to be honest, because it doesn't really get me anywhere and it doesn't really solve anything. It's a very difficult task combining modelling and training to be a lawyer. If you ask me today, my life's changed now for the better, because I think what's happened, although it's crappy and I wouldn't wish it on anybody, has opened a lot of doors for me and given me a lot of opportunities that I probably wouldn't have had. Otherwise, it's given me a lot of good things.